be around these turns and things. It was great. This guy closed his eyes in the first two times. I was doing shit over my life. They call this title a slip of ice cream forecast. And King's Island promises its new four million dollar one of a kind coaster is a thriller. What? More exciting than any other roller coaster ride. It seemed like it would come right off the track and the course through. Oh, uh, it scared me to death. I kind of like went upside down. Now it's more fun for me to just watch from the sidelines. You go 12 stories in the air and then drop at 50 miles per hour is just too much for me. But not too much for Don Helby. He set a record by riding another King's Island coaster called the Racer 6,000 times. The Vortex has to be considered a better ride, but I would still you know, prefer to ride the Racer for, you know, because I don't think you can continually do something like that ride every time you get to your summit. Now you can make up your mind which coaster you like best. King's Island's 1987 season opens tomorrow. Judy Olsen Brooks, News 5. Well, the Park 16 season will also be a brand new ice show in the best house. That's right, bigger skating in the summer. Thanks for that. So far, three Marines have been arrested in that case, but given that, the Pentagon's not taking any chances. Closer to home tonight, there's a publication in our area that is about to celebrate its third anniversary. Michael Collins reports on the night beat that not only has it withstood the test of time, it's withstood the test of youth as well. Etson Lane is a well-informed neighborhood. Some read the Post, some read the Enquirer, but all read the Etson Lane News. The Etson Lane News is a publication that has been in existence some three years now, which is surprising when you consider that this is a day and age when newspapers all over the country are breaking up and going under. I mean, even Lou Grant is a high school principal now. The paper is published in this newsroom, which also occasionally serves as a basement by reporter Larry Weinheimer, 11, reporter Dan Marina, 13, and the founder and editor and reporter Steve Bailey, 12. Every issue becomes better. The pictures and other in the stories become better. Some of the stories are features and some are hard news, like the day a neighbor was choking. The fire trucks went down the street and I grabbed a notebook and a piece of paper and I went down and I asked the fireman what happened and then he told me. On any given day, you'll see these kids covering the street for stories for their weekly summertime deadline. And although Steve says he wants to be a reporter when he grows up, he's obviously not quite ready for a total journalistic commitment. Would you be willing to go to jail to protect your sources? Nope. But he has kept this paper going for three years, something most kids couldn't do. And in a day of newspaper mergers and hostile corporate takeovers, Steve Bailey isn't worried a bit. Well, are you concerned about Rupert Murdoch? Who's that? And how would the Atson Lane News end this story? A newspaper is fun, exciting, and isn't that hard to start. This is Steve Bailey, News 5, on the night beat. Aw. It isn't yeah. so tough to start a television station either. That kid's got a future. That's true. That's my true. My job. Up next on News 5 tonight, a strange leader in the Masters Golf Tournament. And if you're hoping to get some sun this weekend, you could be in for a surprise. We'll be right back.